Hi guys, Manga Minx here. We're gonna finish scratches now. Let's have some fun, shall we? We're going to load up my last save, which is here, I believe. Thingy, Jerry wants us to get the fuck out of here. And that's what we're gonna attempt to do. We're gonna attempt to leave the house. I know it's a bit of an anti-climax, attempting to leave, but what could go wrong when you're attempting to leave, huh? We're gonna head outside and check the mail again. Because Jerry did seem pretty panicked, and uh, we don't know why he would be panicked. What's this? Oh, this is the fucking letter from before. What's this? Mr. Michael R8, due to irregularities during its acqui acquisition process carried over by Mr. J.P. Carter, you're immediately to immediately leave the property known as Blackwood Manor. If you fail to comply, legal proceedings will be forced against you. You have two days to effectively abandon the property. After the issuing of this notice, we take no responsibility for courier service. A police officer is due to arrive at the Blackwood Manor on Tuesday the 15th. Should we be present, you'll be immediately taken into custody without further notice. So we're being the National Trust as well. What fucking scumbags. Um, basically, uh, we're being evicted and we could be in trouble. So that was the reason why Jerry wanted me to leave the house so badly. I bitterly realised that he wouldn't come for me and that it was up to me to find a way to leave the house. Well, I better get my car started then. Got a car battery. We're going to go and charge this car battery so we can leave. I mean, that's a sensible thing to do. We should have left fucking ages ago when we saw a shadow in our fucking basement, but still. Anyway, we have a car battery. I'm not quite sure what we have to do with this. Okay, we have to put this somewhere. There. And we've attached the battery to the uh, wheels, and then we spin the wheels, and then she charge the battery. Again? Let's go again. I don't know how many times you have to do it to charge the battery, but still. Is that now charged? Let's examine. Okay. It said it's charged a small bit. I don't know if we have to charge it more, but we'll go and try it in the car for now. And then we can GTFO. Let's go and start our car up. And then that's the end of the game. As I prepared myself to leave the manor, I suddenly felt responsible for disturbing the forces that had now lain dormant inside the house. I had to do something. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna actually do something and stay. Michael can't help himself. Let's go and dig up a dead body, shall we, boys and girls? Let's. Okay. think the soil in this area of the garden was devoid of life. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Okay, so we have the, uh, can I dig here? Is this it? I don't actually know if this is it, but still. Please be a dead body. Come on, dead body. Come on. Well, there doesn't seem to be actually anything here to click on. Uh... Really, I have to... <laughs> Just put the sword back where I left it, doesn't matter, you know? What the fuck? Okay, um... Why have that bit that I can... Ah, oh, hang on. There's the shadow. So can I go forward one? Where the fuck is the shadow gone? It was there. It was, it was literally here. was fucking there! There's the shadow of the thing. This is the fucking chapel. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Shadow. How come I can't see the shadow from this? Oh, can I? Shadow? 
Can I just dig here? Oh, I can dig in random... Okay. Well... I can't actually stop this animation, guys. I do apologise. Yeah, back. Okay. Yeah, fuck off. Come on. I'm all day. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can fuck off. You can do it. Well done. Well done. You achieved something today. Okay, we'll go back down one. There's the shadow. We're going to dig on the tip of the shadow because that's where she was uh, buried. Come on. Body. Oh, yeah. We got ourselves a body. I was equally terrified and sad upon recovering the dead body of Catherine Blackwood. All these years, she was left to rot in this improvised tomb. So he did bury her here. Okay. I guess that was fairly obvious. Uh, I'm going to pull her tooth out. Hmm. I tried to pull her tooth out without success. Well, that's why I used... Oh, it's these. Yeah. Doing my best to contain my repulsion, I pulled the tooth from the body. Why are we doing this? Because we need to remove the curse, and the tooth is one of the ingredients to remove the curse. Okay, we are now going to go up to the gallery and get ourselves another tooth, so I'll be right back. So into the uh, African gallery thing we go, and we need a tooth. I think you'll do. So, let's get these again. These seem to be the tooth removing tool of the day. Let's actually get closer, don't I? Okay, so we now have two teeth. If uh, you read the note from the church, I think it was, uh, in detail, it gives you the, like, the details of the cure for the curse. Um, and we are going to try and create that now. And we need to go to the kitchen to continue with our... Um, that looks a bit darker than... Oh, thank God for that. I thought it... Did you see how dark it was down there? That was disturbing as shit. Okay, so... I think it's somewhere in here there should be a coffee grinder of some kind. Probably. Yeah, there. You. Is that a coffee grinder? I think that's a coffee grinder, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't drink coffee, so I don't really know. Why can't I look at that? That's weird as shit. Mm. I'm pretty sure that is a coffee grinder. Oh, but I can't click on it, even though I know I'm meant to use it. Which is really confusing me. Hang on, hang on. There we go. I was obviously at the wrong angle slightly. Okay, so we're going to have to grind these two te different teeth down into a powder. Don't ask me why, or how you're meant to know this. Well, I guess from reading the note, but still. Okay, so that's powder number one. Hang on, oh, no. Open. Close this. Open this. Tooth inside. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Yes! Let me grind the other tooth up. Okay. And now we can bind these two together to make a mixed powder. Then we can bind these with the fucking berries to make a berry and mixed powder. What do we do with that? We have to cook it. And there was a little stove all the way upstairs in the attic from what I recall in the workshop area. So that is where we are headed now to cook this remedy up. I'm not going to cut because it's not too far at all. Over... I think it was... One of these rooms, maybe? I'm not sure. Shit. Uh, going to have to have a look and see. Can't remember what's in these rooms. Oh, this is it. Got a little cooker here. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so we're going to put this on top. Did I just do that or not? No, I didn't. There we go. And put that on top of that. And then we're going to set fire to it. I think. I don't know. Uh, matches. I 
this will hopefully do something instead of just ending the game and saying we failed. There we go. We got some stone of some kind. And there's a weird breathing noise which is creeping me the fuck out. Uh Okay. Now we combine this with this. And that's the amulet. I attached the stone to the branch and really felt a strange sensation. The amulet seemed to be vibrating. I was ready. Okay, we're gonna go and cleanse this fucking Oh we shut the fuck up! Mask. Okay, you and me, one on one. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> you know it, mask dude. I wave the amulet at the front of the mask, and then at first nothing seemed to happen, but then the atmosphere felt lighter, as if the house had been relieved of a monstrous burden. There we go. Mission accomplished. Game over. We're done. What an anticlimactic ending. I'm sure everything is fine. Let's go, and, let's go and chill out downstairs, yeah? I mean, that answers all the questions, doesn't it? We'll go downstairs. I'll go down the other way, actually. And we're gonna have a nice drink, yeah? That sounds good to me. I stood there, paralyzed in terror, as I heard those horrible noises again. They wouldn't stop. But I thought we cleansed the house. What's there? It's a trap door in the fireplace, guys. Oh god. I went down the fireplace. I couldn't shake the feeling of entering a forbidden zone. A place that had been, and was supposed to remain, forgotten in time. Okay guys, uh, we're in the basement, but a part of the basement we haven't been to. And what's this? That's the hole in the furnace. That's the hole in the door. Can we go? <laughs> I remember being soaking wet and shaking in fear, but I just had to go on as if driven by an unseen force. Hello? Several bricks have been removed from this wall, resulting in a large hole. Okay. Is that blood? Traces of raw meat it appear they have been dropped through the grating. Teddy bear. Some fresh water was dripping from a pipe. Someone's been living down here. There are remnants of food on the table. Someone or something had been eating down here. Can I light it up? I don't know if I can light it up. I don't have any matches left, so I guess no. I don't know what to do, guys. Can I just leave? Should I just leave? Oh god. There's definitely something down here that I need to do. Oh shit, what is it though? <laughs> I don't like this room! in here. Can I... Use my lantern, maybe? There was enough light. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm scared. I'm really fucking scared. One second, guys. I need to find out what to do. This is creepy as shit. A disgusting teddy bear covered in mud and dirt was lying on the ground. It appeared it had bites and had rips in its neck. Hello? There's got to be something in the hole. What? Oh my god! Guys! 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 Oh!
we are GTFOing. And the mystery of the manor, so I think that might be. I guess that must be William Bailey, the kid. That's Unsure of what shit. I had just seen, I raced my car and left Blackwood Manor as quickly as possible. I'm not ashamed of what I did. That disfigured face is still stalking my nightmares, and I've never put foot inside a Victorian house ever since. But there's certainly one thing that I'm grateful for. It was thanks to my encounter below that house that I was able to finish my book and become a prolific writer. Well done, Michael. Well done. <laughs> I guess that's something else from Africa. Now it scratches, guys. That's enough point and clicking for now, I feel. There will be uh, some other point and click games on the channel, but not for a bit. I'm going to play some more conventional 3D world adventure games and horror games and stuff. Or adventure horror hybrids, I'd say. And you've probably seen the first part of one of those already. Uh, yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed Scratches, because it was a lot of fun. And uh, I guess all I can say is bye for fucking now. It's been a good game. Bye for fucking now.